Today we'll practice our new vocabulary dealing with the house with the dative case. First, repeat the new vocabulary after me. Der Schornstein, der Besen, der Zaun, der Trockner, der Keller, der Balkon, die Türklinke, die Treppe, das Dach, die Terrasse, der Dachboden, die Waschmaschine, die Schublade, die Garage. Good. And last lesson, we reviewed the dative case changes to der, die, and das, how they become dame, der, and dame. And we also reviewed the dative case changes to ein, eine, and ein, how they become einem, einer, and einem. You've learned that dative case is used with words in, auf, an, and unter. We've dealt with all of these in the past at one point or another. Auf means on a horizontal plane. An is on a vertical plane, like on the wall. Here are some expressions you've had, for example. Auf and unter dem Bett, on and under the bed. Auf and unter dem Tisch, the table. Auf and unter dem Stuhl, the chair. And an der Wand, on the wall. Let's practice these prepositions with a few of our new words. How would you say on the roof? Auf dem Dach. How would you say on the terrace? Auf der Terrasse. On the staircase. Auf der Treppe. How about on the dryer? Auf dem Trockner. How about under the balcony? Unter dem Balkon. What if something were on the door but under the door handle? Say under the door handle. Unter der Türklinke. Good. Repeat these sentences after me using our new vocabulary. Say that the chimney is on the roof. Der Schornstein ist auf dem Dach. The door handle is on the door. Die Türklinke ist an der Tür. The broom is in the basement. Der Besen ist in dem Keller. And of course, I could have said im Keller using the contraction. Repeat this one. The forks, the knives, and the spoons are in the drawer. Die Gabeln, die Messer und die Löffel sind in der Schublade. Say the cat is sitting on the fence. Die Katze sitzt auf dem Zaun. And how about the attic is under the roof? Der Dachboden ist unter dem Dach. The washer and the dryer are in the basement or cellar. Die Waschmaschine und der Trockner sind im Keller. The garage is under the terrace or patio. Die Garage ist unter der Terrasse. Good. In the next lesson, we'll learn some more prepositions that take the date of case when dealing with where something is located. Auf Wiedersehen.